What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X 5.1 and this update has a lot of great things except for one that is safety net and yeah it is not a huge issue if you're someone who uses Magisk you can simply use Magisk hide and use all the banking apps with safety net working super fine but if you're someone like me who does not use Magisk on like day to day usage and you just flash fcrypt disabler every time when you flash a rom if you're that kind of person you might be having some issues with safety net but otherwise let me actually show you if i open this application and if i try to like test it and as you can see by default the safety net fails that is why the developer has pulled the update i did not like that quite but yeah that's how it is right now this update has been removed from like the official download pages or like sourceforge link is down right now because the developer pulled it i guess here we have the 14th november 2020 build and if you look at the android version section we have the evolution x logo up there and then the android version is of course android 11 if you are noticing let me actually do this as you can see this is simply android 11 and in the evolution x version you will notice this is the 5.1 version eleanor official build and the security patch is latest of november 5th 2020 and we have the build maintainer as Joe Huab of course and here we have the build number and the stock kernel is perf g kernel now in the system update we do have a system updater and you can check for updates and here let me go back in the gesture settings you will find a lot of things right now as you can see we have this switch off screen from lock screen by double tapping i guess and here in the gesture settings we have the gesture navigation then two button navigation and three button navigation both are there and in the settings you can adjust the length of this gesture pill bar over here if you are noticing on the bottom i did increase this like length of it but you cannot actually change the thickness of this so that's how it is let me go back in, in this gesture section we do have this swipe or screenshot so yes this is working totally fine and you can share it or edit it uh, like a markup kind of thing where you just like mark something like this so yeah you can share it from right here but there is no option to take long screenshot as of right now but the most interesting thing right now about this evolution x is the evolver and here it has been added and as you can see it has a lot of good things but the first thing which i'm gonna talk about over here is in the lock screen you will find this force fingerprint authentication that means you can unlock your device just by tapping the fingerprint scanner even after a reboot that feature was missing from a long time on evolution x and it is right now back and i am really happy to see it and it is actually working super fine if your storage is decrypted and by the way if you don't know what i am talking about decryption and stuff if you want to flash this from decrypted just follow this video guide you will have decryption if you flash with this method let me show you from the beginning in the about evolution x section we have the website telegram group twitter page and you can donate to the developers from directly here i guess and here in the status bar we have the clock and date customization and here we have clock style ampm style date date style and date format it's a trust changing option we have the status bar battery indicator and over here we have the portrait icon then circle dotted circle there is no big circle over here as of right now in the battery percentage we have the like percentage changing option like you can change the position of it next to the icon or inside the icon or you can totally hide it let me go back we have the icon manager and from here you can enable headset bluetooth and nfc etc my device does not have nfc hardware because this is the indian redmi k20 pro if your device has it it should be like showing up over there on the status bar let me go back we have the show 4g instead of lte then volte icon is there i don't quite like the hg icon but yes definitely they will add like more quality or like vo wi-fi icons in future maybe we also have the roaming indicator over here let me go back to the notifications here we have the heads up and you can disable heads up if you want to and as you can see we have this make heads up less annoying and stuff then kill app button notification light option is there this is like per app kind of notification light we also have this battery charging light you can have it on do not disturb then like battery light when fully charged and stuff 
let me go back we have the in call vibration stuff like vibrate on connecting call then call waiting and disconnect as well and in the quick settings panel we have the quick pull down and here we have the pull down from left or right choosing option then smart pull down then vibrate on toggle touch is there then disable quick settings when the device is locked and stuff is there brightness slider you can change the position of it like show always or show only when expanded and stuff then we have the auto brightness icon then like the column and row number customization is of course there and in the power menu we have the hide on lock screen option you can hide the power menu on lock screen for some reason and in the gestures we have the aosp gestures and here we of course have the same kind of gestures which you will find in the system panel but here we do have the screen of power button toggle torch that is working totally fine then we have the brightness control this is the sliding on the like status bar as you can see if i slide on the status bar the brightness just increases or decreases and this is a really handy feature at least for me i do use it on a daily basis and i do really love this feature and here we have the double tap to sleep on the shooters bar as well and it is working flawlessly and double tap to wake is there let me go back and here in the like lock screen again we have the force fingerprint scanner so that is really good that you can just like tap the fingerprint scanner after a reboot you don't have to enter pin every time you reboot and here we have screen of fingerprint as well so if you're someone who likes to use screen of fingerprint scanner when like the device is totally locked and it does not show the always on display you can tap the fingerprint scanner area it will wake the device and unlock it for you and as you can see we have the fingerprint animation and as you can see you can change it to these many animations and there are a plethora of fingerprint scanner animation even this aurora k30 pro right now i'm liking this supernova then also we have this pulsar fusion molecular and stuff so yeah huge amount of fingerprint scanner animation is there then we have lock screen charging info lock screen shortcut charging animation etc then media cover art music visualizer etc is there but there is no like light color changing option as of right now of the fingerprint scanner but they might add it in the future updates right now the like light color on the fingerprint scanner is white in the navigation we have the system navigation gestures again and here we have the layout and invert layout option is there pixel animation is there then click to like have partial screenshot is there if you want to do that you can inside animation we have the screen of animation you can choose it to crt or scale let me go back we have the misc settings where you do find the charging animation wake up on charge disabling option and then you have the usb configuration this is a really handy thing that you can set it to file transfer so whenever you connect your usb cable to the pc it will open the files on the pc and by the way talking about the power menu this is how the power menu looks like and you can go to advanced just like this and this will actually directly reboot the device to wherever you want like you, if you want to reboot the device normally you can just tap restart then if you want to go to the fast boot mode then you can just tap on bootloader then if you want to boot onto your orange box recovery or any other recovery you can just tap over here and then we have the system ui rebooting option so that is great that advanced reboot is enabled by default here talking about the stock launcher this is still a pixel launcher working flawlessly to the left we have this google's discover page swiping down gets you to the notification panel swiping up gets you to the app drawer you can disable the suggestions over here so that is good and the stock camera here is the like google camera go edition and this actually works but this is a pretty basic camera in my opinion but yeah it definitely works fine even with the front camera and stuff as you can see it is working totally fine with this like google camera go and i have also installed this google camera 7 this is also working this is the yearnings version of the google camera even with night sight and stuff this is working flawlessly no issues with all the lenses so that is good if you want to have this google camera just click on the card over there and talking about the quick settings panel this is how it looks like and as you can see we do have the dark theme this screen recorder is there this is the like default screen recorder with which you can also record the device and microphone audio at the same time so that is a very cool feature and you can just record the device audio or the microphone audio individually with the screen recording so that is great but i have also added a couple of more toggles and you can add even more over here as you can see there is compass screenshot etc heads up disabling option and stuff or enabling option you can enable those and then sync sound search etc option is there let me actually show you here we do have this like screen recorder this is the oxygen based kind of screen recorder this is still present and in terms of the audio option there is internal and microphone so that is like how it is but it does not show 
that like both audio at the same time if you want to do that you have to use the stock screen recorder two screen recorders are there so the like default one is this one then we also have that oxygenous kind of screen recorder and fps counter is of course working flawlessly 60 fps pretty much so yeah you can see it while you are playing games and stuff working flawlessly now ok google bug is there like even after you set up your google assistant it won't work with your voice so yeah that's a reason but you can of course bring google assistant just by sliding from the corners just like this you can just do this and yeah this should work fine with your google assistant but yes ok google detection is kind of bugged right now i don't have an issue with it but that's how it is the good thing here is that the drm info still shows as level one if you are on the latest firmware i guess the indian firmware so yeah that's how it is level one security for drm info but yes that safety net bug is there that is why i cannot set up my like banking apps yes i know i can just flash magis can use magis kite but i don't do that so usually I don't do that so that's why i'll just like wait for the next update until it comes and if you want to have a glimpse of the performance over here let me actually show you by opening chrome facebook twitter play store youtube instagram now let's open this google home let's open a couple more apps like the drm info then Amazon now let's open all these apps from memory again so yeah pretty much all the apps are in memory and as you can see they do open flawlessly and yeah the animations is are like pretty fine I don't have any issue with uh, like app opening of speeds at all the ram management is great all the apps stays in memory and you can switch between apps just like this so very smooth experience over here and you can also like go into the split screen mode from here or you can pin an app from the recent panel or you can take a screenshot or select something some text over here whichever is showing up on the screen so yeah this is a android 11 feature still working flawlessly no issues so if you are someone who really like once a really great rom the evolution x is gonna be great again pretty much and by the way here is the n2 to n gig bin score of this rom and in the battery settings again this is pretty great the battery life should be really great but i haven't like did a full cycle of the battery so right now i would say you can definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time easily and this battery section if you tap over here you can see the full battery usage and if you scroll down we have the thermal profile battery saver adaptive battery and also it shows the screen on time of course then we have the design battery capacity the current battery capacity the charging cycles and then we have the battery temperature over here showing up on the bottom so that is great it shows everything in the display settings we have the brightness level night light then styles and wallpapers are there and inside styles and wallpapers let me actually show you you can go to this custom theme and as you can see there are these many fonts over here and if you just like go over here you can choose the accent colors and plethora of accent colors are actually present as you can see i can just scroll through them so yeah a lot of accent colors are there here we have the screen timeout of course you can change that rotation settings are there so you can have the 180 degree rotation or something if you want that then lock screen is there and always show time and info is there if you want that to show up and double tap to wake is there you have to turn it on from here then pocket detection is there you can just like turn it on if you want to and anti flicker or deceiving is of course there then dark theme you can schedule it from here and clock style also you can change this from here then we have the accent colors and again you can change the accent colors from here too instead of that styles and wallpapers so you can just like choose anything else like this golden shower and stuff and as you can see right now the accent color has changed and in the headline and body fonts we have these much fonts and inside icon shapes we have a lot of icon shapes too in the sounds we have this show volume panel on left and stuff so that is why as you can see right now the volume panel is appearing on the left you can expand the volume panel just like this so yeah pretty cool normal volume panel and we have the vibrate for calls then we have live caption now playing is there and inside direct and sound enhancer this is closing up right now i don't know why so as you can see again i had to go into the settings for the direct and here we have the youth edition and all other presets for these like headphones 
and I would say with the youth edition, the sound quality via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is great. And here we also get this hi-fi audio enabling option and screenshot sound, touch sound, etc. or the dial pad sound, you can disable them, of course. Inside security, we do not find any face unlock or app lock as of right now, but they will be like added in the future updates maybe. But as of right now, no app lock or no face unlock. So right now, let me just show you the Fingbit scanner speed over here from the always on display. It has unlocked super fine with my right hand thumb. With the left hand thumb always on display, again, it has unlocked. Let me try from this like lock screen area right now. And if you're noticing the animations do look really, really awesome in my opinion. And the Fingbit scanner is fairly fast. No issues that I had with the Fingbit scanner ever on this ROM, like on this build, I mean. Let me turn on night light and let's try. Okay, so still with night light, it still unlocks from the always on display with my right hand thumb and left hand thumb as well. Now I'll try from the lock screen and as you can see, it has unlocked with night light turned on, of course. Again, with the lock screen, night light turned on, left hand thumb still unlocked. Very reliable Fingbit scanner and all the things on this ROM right now, in my personal opinion, are very much stable and it does feel like pretty baked in. Even if you need the safety net to be passed by default, and you don't want to flash magic, I would say just wait for the next build and you should be pretty happy about this latest Evolution X 5.1. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Dex signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.